Brian and Leo were here in the, in the mid 90s. Leo finished up in 96, Brian in 1997. Played all their rugby in the college and both of them attended Willow Park as well, our junior school. As students, they were both fairly middle of the road. Neither of them really made a big deal about themselves in class. You, you saw them more on the rugby pitch. That's when you actually saw the real Leo and the real Brian. And around the time they were playing rugby had just gone professional and a lot of the professional techniques were probably coming into schoolboy rugby at the time and I think they look back with a lot of fond memories at the time. Leo was very, very quiet. Um, I remember when he came for pre-season training in May, he was actually he was very skinny. I mean, there wasn't a pick on the kid. And he wasn't particularly tall and I remember looking and thinking, I don't know if he's going to make the team or where we can use this guy. He came back in September, he seemed to have grown about a foot and a half. I don't know what happened, but he was, he was just soared up into the sky. Brian played out half. As, this is as an under 15 now, not as an under 18. Out half is probably the most important position uh, on a school team. And Brian was incredibly talented. But he was probably no taller than about five foot, five foot one. And he was terribly small and slim for all the talent that he brought in attack. And he was brilliant. He would do the most unexpected things, even the kind of things we're used to as, a, as an adult. He was vulnerable in defence, and that's been the biggest change in Brian. When he left school, apart from the fact that he, he grew immeasurably, uh, he turned into being not just a great attacker, but arguably the best defender in world rugby. And to have role models like Brian and Leo for the thousand pupils plus we have in the school, it's just great. They can look up and one day say, well, you know, why not me? Why couldn't I win a Six Nations Championship or, or captain a Heineken Cup winning team? And, you know, it means so much to the school to be able to produce these guys, but at the same time, you know, the school is incredibly proud of not just the rugby players they are, but the ambassadors for the game they are, the way they've come back and contributed and all the good things they've done for the school. Both Brian and Leo have shown that you can achieve so much. I mean, Leo was the quiet guy, as I said, who was, you know, one of the group, and he's gone, gone on to be a great leader, a great captain, a great ambassador for the sport, with huge respect. Brian was the guy who didn't quite make the junior team. He made the senior team, but he didn't quite make the junior team, and yet he went on to become a world superstar. And I expect the lesson for all the kids here in that is that just because at a certain age you might not be seen to be the best, if you apply yourself and you, you go about your business, anything can happen. So the two of them are really the kind of guys you like to have in a school to be able to say to everybody, look how far you can go.